Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the Kingdom of the Ukraine, or Ukraine, and Slava Ukraini to all of you watching. Now I know this series has lost some of its interest for my audience, and that's totally fine. But I am thinking right now that I should maybe speed up this campaign just a little bit. So, here's the deal. We're going to attack Bulgaria right now. Actually, as I speak, I'm going to go ahead and go to war with them. But, with that in mind, I'm going to split this video probably into two parts where we attack Bulgaria, crush them, and begin the war with the United States of Greater Austria. Because I didn't realize, but they're on script in the barrel already. With a pretty good amount of manpower. We might have actually the same amount. The Dominion of India isn't looking super good, but Austria has lost over 3 million soldiers. Also, this, of course, isn't where we left off last time, but <coughs> merely what we are doing right now. So, um, as you can tell, Two Sicilies is kind of back. The Entente, as well as the Reichspact, has heavily pushed through Italy because the Social so Socialist Republic of Italy is out of manpower on scraping the barrel, so that isn't very good. So right now, actually, I'm thinking... When we're going to war, we will go to war with the Germans. I'm going to take out White Ruthenia, or Belarus, Belarus, or whatever. We have to take out Poland as well. I want these guys as puppets. So, you know what? I'm thinking right now, what can I give Germany to take some territory away from them in what was Northern Russia? Hmm, let's see. Oh, Siberia has Omsk as a core state. Well, what if I were to trade the Germans some factories for some more resources. I think that would be a fair trade for quite a while right now. Um, we're doing pretty well in resources, actually. Do we need? Do we have any deficit? We actually have a deficit of guns. I think mostly because we recently created some more divisions. Obviously, I'm making some modern tank divisions as well. But we could use some more guns. And we could obviously use more steel. There, there they are. There those people are. So, um, Germany, over time, I'm going to continue buying stuff from you and exchange for some worthless territory for you this way mostly just i'm trying to set this up so that i don't have to take out all of the, this part of siberia which will be very very annoying so in about let's say by the end of 1945 i will maybe annex two portions from the german empire as i give them more factories nice and you know what to signify my goodwill i'll do this as well right now we're building some more civilian factories to trade those away as well as some rubber, or I guess really synthetic refineries, <clears throat> so I can get rid of my dependency on rubber. Cool, so right now, we are at war. We just went to war. I have a few ships stationed here. Uh, 17 ships in this fleet, two dreadnoughts, a carrier, a couple of light cruisers, and a couple of destroyers, as well as this one has just quite a few destroyers, a fast battleship, as well as some cruisers and some destroyers as well. And of course, we have our seven subs, who are, who should be, like right here or something. I don't know. Cool. Um, I told my soldiers to go ahead. I mean, Bulgaria isn't super strong. So, yeah, they have about half a million manpower on all adults serve. With quite a few divisions. So I figured, you know what, this might not be too bad. We're not using a lot of divisions. We're using 21 in total. But, this might be enough to take out Bulgaria. Maybe. As long as they don't join the Dona Edribon. Also, we're... Uh, the war up here is going okay. Actually, Germany attacked so many times, lost so much manpower, they actually took a little bit more of French soil in Lorraine Plateau. Very interesting. The Netherlands is coming back better and better all the time. Ooh, the Germans actually have a naval fleet here. Uh, they got a lot of subs, the Commune of France does. The Germans lost a ship or something, we're getting attacked up here. Pretty normal stuff, I've ignored this for the most part, there's really no point to attack there. Um, we're expanding already, which is great. I'm going to tell you guys to stop and just form up a front line. That'd be for the best. Awesome. What have we found down here? We have found a cruiser as well as some other ships. Also, I do have my carrier naval bombers doing naval bombing since I don't have enough time to actually research regular naval bombers. Also, I have a cup of coffee here. Mostly freshly brewed. Not blued, but brewed. Man, can you have blue blued coffee? I'm sure you can, but that'd be crazy. Oh, we're getting attacked. United Baltic Duchies in our uh, alliance. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, you guys are setting yourself up. We have a ton of spe special divisions. Uh, you are not a field marshal because this guy, Anton, is the field marshal. Even though he's level 2 and you are level 4. That doesn't make too much sense. I should really switch you around. I'll probably switch you guys around when the war is over. Actually, if you do this for field marshal traits, 
even though he might be a general, he still gets actually one more attack. So it's actually worth doing that, in my opinion, then. Hmm. Uh, organization first. Charismatic. It's not bad. Oh, we actually lost a plane. Interesting. Well, you know what? I'm going to change this to go ahead and do some patrols around here. There we go. So we can also focus on some convoys. But we can also focus on taking out enemy ships. Actually, they sh really shouldn't have too many convoys here. Go ahead and switch this to patrols well. We can hopefully find a lot of things here. Um, you guys are planning a little bit. That's enough planning. Go ahead and have your way with them if you can. 40 combat with divisions are just beautiful things. Um, I'm really interested in the naval battles, though. Oh, we found some ships. Oh, we killed some ships. And we killed the entire task force in exchange for a play. Not bad. And then we'll come down here to the south as well. Ooh. Yeah, you guys disengage, disengage. Um, since we only have seven... Oh, we actually have six now, because we lost one. I'm going to do this. Be on engage at low risk, guys. That would be for the best. Until we can get our ships from here, in the Black Sea, down to this part of the Mediterranean. Very nice. Ah, oh, my ships are so good, at least compared to the enemy ships. So beautiful. Anyone have any upgrades? Melnik. No? Alright, not bad. Oh, Fortress Buster isn't terrible. That guy's name, Mikhailo. Mikhailo. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Cool. Oh, you. Oh, Pablo. Pablo Skoropatsky can become a field marshal with the logistics wizard stuff, but I kind of prefer Melnik right now. Cool. Um, other than that, losses for this war. I mean, for us in total, we've lost over three hundred thousand. 8.2 thousand to Bulgaria, but Bulgaria has lost 67,000, almost 68,000 to us. And you know what? Be a little bit more careful, guys. You don't need to do that right now. Don't get yourselves all worked up for nothing. Ah, uh, coffee's pretty good. We're making some bombers. I have a lot of extra garbage in here. I'm just using whatever I can use because, well, I'd rather have something than not have enough of anything. Oh, they want that ace there. No, no, no. Do that. That would be great. We're doing some pretty good damage to the ground forces of Bulgaria. 5.9, 4.3 ground attack. Not bad. Not great. Could be better, but whatever. So let our guys do their business. Eventually we might have to hold on here. Um, oh, nice. Six more convoys sunk. You guys can probably go ahead and heal up. One of your subs, one of the better subs in that little task force, needs some heals. Um, you might as well help attack if they're attacking there. Very nice, very nice. Manpower. Oh, public recognition of the Sicilian government in exile. Well, they're kind of mostly back, and then some, so I don't think that's really necessary. Over here, we're just still holding the line, which is not very much. But we do have five armies of 24 divisions each, which I think is great. Which I think is really, really, really great. Uh, you guys, if you can help out here, that would be awesome. To, uh, don't move. I want you to help out here. Close this area off. Because then we can kill all, everything over here, which would be great and awesome. Mmm, gotta love that coffee. Oh, a single destroyer. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you get blown up. Oh, and they did. Or at least they got sunk. Great. You destroy all these divisions. Search for convoys and stuff like that. That'll be beautiful. Truly beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're doing pretty well. We, with annexing most of Russian territory, we got quite a few factories to work. And I'm building actually another dreadnought, which is kind of nice. We have excavation 5 for more resources. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, actually, since we're here, I still want to make some nukes. If possible. Fighters are doing well. Tactical bombers could be better. Naval doctrine really won't matter very much. I've been trying to do more naval stuff. But it really doesn't matter that much. But maybe a little bit of this wouldn't hurt. I do want nukes later, though. I definitely, definitely, definitely want nukes. Um, you guys, maybe do that. Maybe send half of you guys this way as well. I know we have, we're fighting a heavy tank, but it'll come in time. Right now, our tank division is taking quite a while. It just needs more tanks. That's really all it is. We just need a lot of tanks. And I'm also making uh, whoops, some Coast Guard divisions, as you can tell as well. So that'll be nice. We're making about two modern tanks a day, which isn't bad. We need more guns, obviously. Uh, you guys really don't need to move up. Get to Constant 
Constanza. Because if we can get up there, then uh, we'll do pretty well. And for now, go ahead and pause the line. Since we're mostly focusing up here, that's totally fine with me. If we make some gains over here, that's also great. But yeah, for Bulgaria, I'm just going to make the Turkish state own and core all that, just because I want to reduce the number of states in the game, reduce the lag, and make Turkey stronger. Um, what is this? Oh, the Turkish ships, it looks like. They've done really well against the enemy convoys, nice. Very nice, guys, good job. Uh, Bulgaria, well, we're going to kill off their navy, so... How many ships they got left? 18. You know what? I'm going to do this. Do this as well. Do both areas. Great, great, great. Constanta is... Constanza is ours. Beautiful. These guys are going to starve. They're going to die. We're going to have a great time with them. And we helped our ally, or I guess some of our subs too, helped sink. What flag is that? Yeah, what flag is that? Uh, was that the Indo-Chinese? No, it was Australasian Union's convoys. Hello there. Mm, beautiful. And now, the 40 combat with divisions, all they have to do is merely hold. And then the Bulgarians will be screaming for mercy, 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 and that's not going to happen. No mercy here. No mercy here. Just merely going to recreate the Ottoman Empire at the moment. That's all. And destroy your ships. Mostly destroy your ships. And steal your soul. But that's okay. Okay, they're starving, they're starving. Do we have another ship here? No, we do not. Beautiful. Alright, there's no point in me wasting my supplies as they're starving for more and more. Give it a few hours. Is there somewhere we can attack here instead in the meantime? Uh, yes, there is. Take you, take you. You're only 20 combat width, so I'm not really going to use you too aggressively. Over here, we... Yeah, we could probably take these guys out. Three divisions is probably more than enough. To take out two, probably 20 combat with divisions. Let's see, two artillery things. Yeah, it's probably about 20 combat with divisions. Ah, oh, beautiful over here. You know what? It's probably a bad idea to do. Oh, you have to actually come this way. Okay, cool. Um, Germany, please don't tell me you're running out of running out of supplies. No, you're not. Siberia is. So Germany, I'm going to keep giving you stuff in exchange for some stuff. But ultimately, for your territory that you really don't need. You really don't need this. Ooh! We found the pride of the fleet that has ran away. Beautiful. Beautiful. The lag isn't too bad since I'm not processing anything right now. And all oh, the subjects had to get away first. Awesome. Uh, for right now, let you guys go ahead and heal. Looks like some of you guys took a little bit of damage, especially this destroyer. It's not great. Oh, we found the fleet again. Well... The fleet's pretty much dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, everyone, go ahead. Go home. Repair. Even though you really don't need that much repairing. But that's okay with me. Um, let's not mix too many infrastructure yet. We'll work on infrastructure later. Give me more factories. At least a few more. Oh, hello there. How many divisions are actually trapped in here? I trapped... There was like 13 over here, but now there's 10. And they're probably not feeling so good. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. And, they, and they're and they dead. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Ooh. We have even more things over here? Convoys? Awesome. I'm hoping just to look up at like the low country here in Europe and just to see that the Germans have pushed through. But I really doubt it. I mean, the Third International's lost 32, 000, 32 million men. We've lost 22. Um, as I said earlier, Austria has lost over 3 million, 3.2 million. Entente's lost 8 million. Bulgaria's lost 450,000 some soldiers. So, they're not doing so well either. And that's okay with me. Can someone please attack? Sardinia's back. That's cool. Um, faction map mode. Third international. Oh, goodness, Germany. Germany, 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 Germany. Why? Dusseldorf. I would argue it's actually probably pretty important to get. Let's get Dusseldorf with them. That's probably a good one to get so that we're over the river or. We're bordering the river. Next up, the Reich's Pact will be kind of tough to take out, seeing as we will have to defend coasts in Turkey, Bulgaria, kind of, but that'll be Turkish as well. The north, yeah. But that's why we're going to take out the Dona Adria Bone first. He gets some allies like Romania, and as well as take his Bessarabia. And we'll also take Galicia and Lodomeria. Uh, Poland as a puppet, which hopefully will be ours. 
and then hopefully Hungary, and then I'll give Austria, Bohemia, maybe Slovakia, and Illyria to Germany. That way it'll be a little bit more balanced, but whatever. Oh, who's actually helping us attack? Ah, oh, the Germans! Surprise, surprise! The Germans are suiciding their men into the line. Uh, do we take... We didn't take Dusseldorf. Well, it looks like all the German divisions were actually in it. What can I take it myself? Yes, if you properly attack with divisions that are well rested enough, you might be able to, but you might not be able to. They do have a tank division, which we cannot pierce whatsoever. And it looks like we might not be able to attack them. I mean, these are only 20 with combat divisions, so let's not suicide our men like Germany. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Alright, so you guys, not bad. I'm going to have to manually control you to tell you where to go next. Alright, Germany, can you please lose this battle? You're probably not going to win. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Do that. Since Germany's kind of holding the line here, I'm going to help attack that way. Next up, some more of these divisions. Attack here. Give me all but one. Yes, we're also attacking a tank, but the tank probably isn't super, 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 super strong. Just have to micro it just a little bit. Uh, yes, Germany, you you love Sophia. I love Sophia as well, but I'm not here to get my men killed like that. Um, war support. We're pretty good on war support. We could go to next higher conscription level. Could refuse exports and go to the next thing up. Ooh, actually, construction engineering. Wait, what are we building? Uh, we're building that a little bit. What we could do, instead of construction engineering, since it doesn't really help us that much, let's just suppress subjects. That would be good to do. That would probably be the best thing to do. Alright, give me just a little bit, and then I will tell my soldiers to go ahead and go ham. Push all the way through Bulgaria. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, quite quite the mess. So, by the when we finish off Bulgaria, I will play this a little bit ahead of time. And I will show you, hopefully, that the Third International is getting smashed. Because I don't want to go to war with the Dona Adriabund without Germany finishing off the Third International. And I will have to fix that up. Or at least the Commune of France, at least. Alright, my soldiers. You have mostly... You're mostly ready to go. Let that one division make its way over first. Germany, stop killing off your men. Because I still need a few of your guys to help kill off the Austrians. And coffee is amazing. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and click on a little green button and see what we can do. Alright, so some battles are winning, some battles are not. Sophia might be ours, it might not be. There's a lot of Greek soldiers, though. Oh, what happened there? That went the line. Getting attacked. Now we're doing the attacking. Bulgaria's lost almost half a million. Wow. The Germans have done 14,000 casualties, even though I've done most of them. Which is fine. Totally fine with me. Um, okay, and Sophia should be ours. Beautiful. Oh, I love my division so much. And there we will go. Thank you very much for, for playing, Bulgaria. I'm glad you didn't join the Dona Adriaboon. But, with that in mind, right now, what I'm going to do... I would love to keep this as a kingdom of the Ukraine. Ukraine. But I will give this to Turkey. Like I said, to reduce lag and whatnot. Um, and then in a few short moments, I will show you us going to war with the Austrians. So I will see you in just a little bit. And we're back, everyone. Thank you for joining me here once again. Um, so yeah, let's go over what has happened so far. Obviously, the Reichs Pact is looking pretty pretty thick in Europe, so, um, but we do have the co-prosperity here over here, so let's start off in Asia, so I forgot to tell you guys that the Feng Shing government actually rebelled against Japan, and that's why you see Qing China here, the Feng Shing government rebelled, Japan won, they put the Qing Chinese into power, and they're led by Pu Yi, next up, obviously we have Siberia here, they're pretty thick, and they took some territory from the Feng Shing government, but they also killed off Transamur, which was kind of surprising seeing as Transamir didn't want independence, but Siberia killed them off anyways. So this is looking pretty cool. Of course, we have the ROC, Republic of China. Not much really has happened here. The Indians are still killing each other. Persia is still killing Afghanistan. Um, Africa, I had some of these states absorb some smaller states just because I don't want the, all that lag. Uh, but Europe, really, that's where everyone's probably most interested. Obviously, Germany's invaded the UK, or the British Isles. So, 
To defeat the Commune of France, what I did, I made sure that we actually defeated them, was I actually attacked through this southern front here, really kind of through central Germany and France, but really through the front here using my divisions, using my puppets divisions of 40 combat width divisions, obviously, using 11 infantry battalions and 6, 6 artillery battalions, and this gave me enough firepower, enough soft attack, and a little bit more of breakthrough to smash through those Commune of France divisions slowly by slowly if you take a look at the time it's 1947 July, June 21st 1947 so I've played this game for quite a few few more hours since we last left off so we eventually smashed through it was great the Republic of France or the French Republic owns a little bit of territory in southern France obviously when the Kingdom of Spain is here they came back after the Commune of France capitulated and Germany recently just invaded the UK British Isles and uh, did a really good job over here. Has done a very, very good job. Uh, I've taken this many casualties. The Reichspact has lost almost 27 million men. Germany's lost 15 million. It's been crazy. Just And the Entente's lost over 9 million, or 9 and a quarter. So that's been nuts. I didn't even know there were almost 3 million men, Frenchmen, in the French Republic now. Dona Adria Bowen lost 3 and a third, pretty much. Peru joined the war against Chile in South America. Which is a little crazy, but then Brazil took out Argentina, so pretty cool. Union of Britain's about to fall. They've lost... The inter third international's lost 40 million men so far. That's insane. Really, really insane. So, they're going to capitulate really, really soon, which will be cool. And we'll divvy up everything in the meantime when that happens. But, obviously, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, cool. So, right now, I'm going to go to war with... Austria. I've only decided to defend my my own core territory just for now, just because I don't want Germany to get called in before we can end the war with the Third International. I really want them dead so they can help me eventually kill off the Austrians. But and we're definitely going to lose some territory down here because we don't have enough divisions. But that's okay. That's always going to happen. Go to war with these guys. Call in our Turkish allies and call in our Georgian allies. Awesome. Obviously, manpower is doing okay, and nothing's happening. Oh, oh, they're, now they're attacking. Oh, I got five divisions here, uh, guarding against 23. We may have air superiority in the various locations that we're currently at. Obviously, I have a few ships. Actually, I did make one more ship, and I want to be very proud of it. The Dread Dreadnought 1. That's a weird way to spell Dreadnought. So this is actually an interwar Dreadnought. Not great. But it's still another ship that we have. And I actually lost the fast battleship that we had earlier after it got sunk. So, I do have tanks here, though. I do have some tanks. So that's actually kind of cool. I just want Austria to just keep attacking my lines. Because that's really the strategy for now. Just kind of hold, hold, hold until the Germans... Oh, there goes Albania. Until the Germans can get over here, really. And I'm not sure how long this episode is going to last, but it's going to last a little bit. Also, tanks. Go in there. Thank you. Turkish-Serbian War. Uh, I wanted to make sure that there was no enemy divisions in these lands. In my lands, or my allies' lands, so. Yeah, so we're just basically going to try to exploit the Hoi 4 AI for now. And let's see. Oh, we're, yeah, this area I was thinking we're going to lose because the infrastructure isn't very good. Yeah, I mean, it's not really great at all whatsoever, so. Oh, the Balkans. They got a lot of planes over here. And I don't have enough fighters for this. Yeah. It's not good. Come over here. Thank you. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, my goal is to just basically, basically defend, 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 defend. Um, For you guys, actually, if I do a front line... Yeah, I'm not doing all of Germany's line as well. They, the Germans can defend themselves. Do something like that. I don't mind guarding a little bit of... White Ruthenia's lands, maybe a little bit, but other than that, man, you're not really feeling it. Just let them attack me, let them attack me. I might be able to strike through here, and there's a reason why I put my tanks here, because I knew these guys were going to get hit quite a bit. Ooh, we're falling back here, that's not good. Uh, fall back line, I'm going to need to rearrange you. Oh, this is a rearrange tool. Let's do this. I'm going to fall back to Nice. If I can guard against that river and do something like this. There you go. That would be better. I think that would help support the line a little bit more. Go ahead and make a tactical retreat. 
because this area is going to be tough to defend. Constanza will be a little bit tough to defend as well. Uh, two of my divisions are getting attacked. Oh, and of course that would happen. So I will see you in just a little bit as well.